All right, now to East Point, where the city's embattled mayor there pleaded no contest today for fraudulently applying for a $10,000 COVID grant. Pleaded to a charge of making a false statement. That's a one-year misdemeanor. Megan Woods live on this story, and she has, Megan, she has courted plenty of controversy during her time in office. Devin, she has. We're here at City Hall where uh, Mayor Monique Owens has had intense battles with city council and community members, but this is something separate. And although she is taking responsibility today and has paid restitution, this isn't over. She's due back in court next month to be sentenced. I'm just as an American as everybody else, and I want people to see my skill, my education, and my heart. That is Mayor Monique Owen speaking in past interviews about being elected as East Point's first black mayor. It was in November 2020 when Macomb County Prosecutor's Office says she applied for a grant under the CARES Act Small Business Fund and received $10,000 from Macomb County. The problem is she falsely stated her business was 51% veteran owned and had between 100 and 249 employees. She has since been charged with false pretenses, a one year misdemeanor. Before Owens put any type of plea in, she had to pay restitution. So today she pled no contest and has paid $10,000 back to Macomb County. As for her mayoral duties, we reached out to the city and have not heard back. She was elected into office in 2019. Owens came in third place during the primaries in August and will not be back on the ballot this November. November. Macomb County Prosecutor Pete Lucido said in a statement, quote, when a public figure acknowledges their guilt, takes responsibility for their actions and pays full restitution, it sends a powerful message that no one is above the law. Now we have reached out to Mayor Monique Owens directly, but have not heard back. Reporting live in East Point, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Stay on right, Megan.